Huh? Slip and slide. Slip and slide. Oh gosh. <laughs> It's kind of slip and slide. <laughs> Democracy. Democracy is kind of a slippery thing. <laughs> so I got this metaphor that I always bring. You see, I was sitting down in Congress trying to undo some fudge. There was Condoleezza Rice. She was eating some fudge. There was Dick Cheney, he was eating chili cheese hot dogs. And they're looking at me, they're saying, George, Mr. Decider, we need some sort of metaphorical situations. And I says, guys, there's something I learned in Yale. Politics is like a slip and slide. <laughs> Sometimes you got the big fat kid, right? The big fat kid hangs out in front of the slip and slide and says like, Oh, you gotta pay admissions is. Sorry, you want a slip and slide? You gotta pay admissions is. Okay? <laughs> that slip and slide's APAC. Okay? Other times around the slip and slide, you ain't got enough water and when you slide on it, you get burned. Okay? <laughs> That's what we call the Republican Party. You gotta water them up, baby. <laughs> and other times on the slip and slide, your grass ain't green. Okay? That's what we call pork barrel. You don't got enough pork barrel, you just need more green. And so I told them that slip and slide was just this way. And they looked at me and said, George, we're having a birthday party at my house. We're having pig tail and a donkey and cake. You want to come over and bring slip and slide? I said, you shit, yeah, I do. <laughs> That's it! Yes. All this is completely unrehearsed. Never before expressed in the history of the universe. And for you, your patience and your time, I thank you for being so fine. I'm the poet Pistachio and that's what I do. I create poems in the moment just for you. But before my presence here, I do unglue. I have something in my head that turns a stew. <gasps> Could it be a ribbon I think of pink? <laughs> It smells of fairy. <laughs> sweet, sweet, not too scary. <laughs> I pull it out and I rub it around my neck. I swirl it and I swirl it and I do a check. Some people take twigs to find the water. I take my fairy feather to find the father. Oh! And here she is! <laughs> Rising like a phoenix! <laughs> fairy Mason! What do you bring? Well, pistachio, my friend. I bring Brazil nuts and almonds. Oh. Sprouted, of course. Oh. And I bring fairies and goblins of all sorts. My favorite course. Maria Stark and Travis Leverty join us and take us all on a journey of brevity or longevity, whichever you wish. And so it is.